guys, Shape Bear 1000 here. Uh, we got some thrift store finds here that I'm going to share with you right now. I'm going to go ahead and put this under the uh, flea market finds. It's pretty much the same thing. But uh, I'll show you some things we've got here. Okay, so let's get you turned around here. Whoops. Alright, now we've got some things here. Um, first, Monkey got got these two things to hang up above the sink which I'll you know I'll probably hang these when I'm doing a vlog or something for her this week so you'll see me hanging these up thought they were they were cute so she got these um, I don't know how much they were two dollars I think or something and we <laughs> She talked me into going to a dumpster and we found these. Uh, there's a glass protective thing and some cell phone cases. That one's kind of cool. It's like 3D. Found these in uh, behind the Dollar Tree uh, in the dumpster. She wanted me to add this in my video for some reason. This little thing. cute there's a little bunny in it and she got this little rag I imagine she'll probably use for this towel or use it to hang up or something it's cute alright so there's that stuff but back to the thrift store things all this stuff here I also have three items from uh, Walmart as seen on TV items but all these are going to be on videos. Okay. We got one of these. Um, these deals. Uh, it's, a, it's a little heater. It's a handy heater. You plug it in. And we gave. Um, I think it says $4 on it. It's written in red. We gave $4 for that. So I don't know if it works. But we're going to do uh, a video on this. Because I've seen people do the. Uh do these before and uh, I thought well it ain't brand new but still you know we'll, we'll try it out and see if it works if it works we'll, we'll put that to the test and we got a bacon wrap bowl alright there's two bowls in here I think she gave two dollars for this or whatever and I'm not sure if this is an ad scene on TV it doesn't say it so probably not but you can make your make bacon bowls with it so what I'm going to do with these, they need washed, is I'm going to compare those to doing it my way, which would be um, two bowls in the microwave. And then we'll try it like this. So all, all these videos are going to be coming up this week. Also, now we've got the As Seen on TV items. All right. What we have here, we have three. As seen on TV, they're TV antennas, okay? This one was $10. This one was $15. And this one was $20. So we're going to put all three of these side-by-side -side tested on three different TVs in three places of the house so one place is going to be in our bedroom where the big TV is one's going to be out here where the medium TV is out here in the living room and then the other one's going to be on the TV I have in a garage that I use for the security monitor so we're going to do three comparisons three rooms or three TVs in three different rooms of the house and this is a block house so that's going to be a good test for these things to see if they really work and then we can let you guys know how well they work or not you know now see um, this is from bulb head this is as seen on TV and it does supposedly support 4k and this one doesn't say yeah there it is as seen on TV so there's these three items these like I said came from Walmart so we're gonna take a day and do these also I have this case here. This is a tripod case. It's kind of cool. 
but I will be doing a video with what's inside this case. This is kind of neat. Right? The case needs cleaned up, but like I said, it was, at, it was uh, at a thrift store, so this is what I think is really cool. This is an old tripod. Very old tripod. It's a Fairfax um, elevator. See that? And this is cool. I'm going to do a restoration on this. And the, uh, the legs extend out. It extends out a, about as tall, if not a little taller, than the tripod I've got you on right now. They also had another one there. It was by Coast. And it was in a bag, and it was huge. It, it extended up to like seven feet. So if it's still there next time, I, sh I should have got it. It was $10, had the case, but it was missing the little thing that clips in here for the quick release. But that's no problem, because I've got that other tripod head in there I could have put on it. That does have the quick release. Now these aren't quick releases. See this thing right up under here? I don't know how well the lighting is here. So you would put your camera on there, and then you screw this on, that'd be a pain to have to do every time. To where the tripod I got you on right now is quick release. I just flip that and take you off and move you around. Like that. And then I can just put you back on. Just like that. But what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to restore this. That's why we're going to do a video on this. I'm going to repaint it. And I forgot scotch Brite. I told her to remind me to get scotch Brite to clean up the aluminum. But, see, it's, it's, it cranks up, which I like these. Now, what I thought, I thought I'm going to do with this, once I get it cleaned up and painted, I'm going to take my 8mm video camera and set on this tripod and have it setting up in the corner somewhere. I think that'll be really cool. What do you guys think? Once it's all cleaned up and stuff with the, you know, I've got this vintage tripod with the vintage camera sitting on top of it. I think that that's going to be really, really cool. This is going to be a fun video because it has to do with food and the food is bacon. So this is going to be fun because I'll be making a couple different bacon bowls. Well, they're going to have to be ate, eaten, whatever. Anyway, so that's, that's going to be cool. Apparently you can use the oven, you can use a toaster oven, or a microwave, so that's awesome. We'll be doing it with the microwave because it's quicker, you know, for the video. So there you go. Now I can tell you something on here. That thrift store, if there's no price on something, there's no sale. If you take it up and say how much is this, they'll take it from you and they'll put it back into pricing. So you don't get to buy it, but on here, on one of these legs, was written in a red pen right here and I know the camera ain't gonna pick it up but right here I don't know if you can see that little bit of red even right there anyway that said nine dollars okay and on this is also written in red and I doubt if you'll be able to see but right there yeah you can see a little bit it said ten dollars well I just stuck that in there and you know, and I carried it up there like that, you know, and I just sat it down. She says, is there a price on there? Yep, 10 bucks. She only charged me $10, not 19 If I knew that was going to happen, I would have went ahead and got the other tripod, too. But anyway, so there there you go, guys. There's, um, I got um, some T-bone steaks in the, uh, in the oven right now for monkey supper tonight. Um, but so... So, there's some upcoming videos for this week. Some, you know, uh, review videos. And this is, you know, we're going to restore this. So, I think that's going to look cool with that with that 8mm uh, camera mounted on it. And just kind of set it off in the corner once I get the garage cleaned out. So, I can look at it and just, just enjoy it. And uh, then I'll use this case because I, t I was telling her... Like last week, I was carrying the, this, this tripod that I got you on now. It's just not heavy, but, you know, carrying it around, lugging it around. I said, I need to get a strap or something. Well, 
hell now seen this I thought well that'll work perfect and it's also got this that you can use you know as a shoulder strap or it's got the the carry handles so and it will fit the tripod I got you on right now will fit in here with the little camera that we're using on so so the, and that'll be nice so that way you know throwing it around in the back seat of the truck and stuff you know it could get damaged and uh, I don't want my camera equipment damaged so but anyway so that that's pretty cool so that's some things we got there uh, but uh, yeah so this I don't know this will just be a quick thing I really don't have any way to check the temperature so um, but the temperature coming out, I thought I'll use one of those digital thermometers that you take your temperature with and hold it in front of it. And we'll we'll kind of get an idea, you know. So we'll, we'll get more into that, you know, when we when we do this. So it's going to be a lot of fun, guys. So I, I got some stuff planned for this week. So I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, thanks for joining me on my uh, on our flea market finds. Like I said, it's a thrift store that's right up the road, but still, you know, flea market, thrift store, it's, it's used stuff, you know, like these bacon bowls. You can tell they've been used. They're going to need to be washed real good. It's no big deal. But this is going to be, this is going to be fun. This is, this is going to be really fun right here. I can't wait to get it all cleaned up and get the aluminum cleaned up on it. And, uh, I mean, it works well. And, uh, also it's got, you know. Like I said, it's got the, the legs extend out. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a fun video. And like I said, that that 8mm camera, I think, is just going to look, look cool on this thing. So, anyway, again, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'm going to get off here so I can uh, edit this video and uh, um, make sure her food gets done right. Um, oh, we got a deal on some T-bone steaks at uh, Winn-Dixie. Um, we uh, we got four of them. They're like an inch thick, at least. We got four of them for like ten bucks. Good deal. So we're making two tonight. I froze the other two for later on in the upcoming week. So, and I've also got a a Chef Shea Bear uh, episode coming up for you on Wednesday, Wednesday night. I'll get it uploaded for you. So you may not see it till Thursday, but um, Wednesday we're going to have stuffed peppers, stuffed bell peppers. So that'll be interesting. That'll be a fun video to make as well. Like I said, always food is always fun video to make. So uh, listen, I really, really in, in, enjoy making these videos for you guys, and uh, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy watching them. So thanks, thanks again. Appreciate it. And uh, Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, guys. Bye bye. Have a great week.